Hey guys, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to share my makeup organization. I'm actually waiting for one more piece to come, but we're going to talk about what, how to organize your makeup and how to choose something. If you're organizing your makeup, you're not like, you don't know what to get. We're going to talk about that. We're going to get right into it. In this video, you are going to see me give you a little bit of a tour of my makeup and all of that. I probably have one of the, <laughs> I don't know if I have only, but I'm probably one of the few makeup beauty channels that doesn't have excessive makeup. I've just tried to keep uh, a lowdown on it, if you will. I love makeup, but I just, like now I'm on a no buy for several months because I'm trying to use what I already have and enjoy what I had before I buy something else. I'm hoping to hit pan on a lot of things before I purchase something else. I'm probably gonna go three months and then I'll probably be more on a low buy, we'll see. So anyways, what you wanna do if you are feeling, cause I know this time of the year we're all feeling like we need to get things organized. First, you need to look at everything that you have. So take a look at all of the makeup you have, go through it. I did a declutter video not too long ago. Go through it, look at the dates of everything. Some things don't have dates, but if they do, now one thing you can look at is this. Let's see if I can do a, I'm gonna try to focus on that. Now, most makeup has a date on it. Do you see that little thing at the bottom that looks like a makeup jar and it has a date on it? That is telling you how long it will last till. Now, with eyeshadow palettes, I do go a little bit more because this is definitely more than 18 months. And normally, before I started doing makeup, I probably would have hit pan on everything on here already. But I have so many other palettes, although I don't have as many as some, and you're gonna see that. So you wanna go through and look at your makeup. If it's expired and it smells or looks funny, get rid of it. If it's something that you bought that you thought you were gonna love and you're not really loving it, pass it on to a friend or a granddaughter or whatever or donate it. If you wanna donate stuff, what you do is you just have to search online, Google or whatever, and see if you can find a place in your area that takes used makeup, sometimes women's shelters and places like that. So that's what you need to do. After you go through all your makeup and you figure out what you want, now you have to figure out where do you wanna store it? Do you have a makeup table? Do you, uh, do you do your makeup in your bathroom? Do you have a beauty room? How much counter space do you have on a table? How much counter space do you have on top of you know, a bathroom counter? How much space do you have underneath it? Like, where do you wanna store your makeup? How is it going to be convenient for you? Because you can't just think about storage. You have to think about every time you, you use it. So you don't wanna get something like, I'm gonna put underneath my cabinet in my bathroom, but then, it's a pain in the you know what to get out every single time you do your makeup. So you have to think about not only where you wanna put it, but think about what, how convenient it's gonna be for you once you get it. So I really, really, really took my time in thinking about what I wanted. I didn't want those Ikea drawers, because number one, I don't have that much makeup. I don't, I don't have that much makeup and I really don't wanna get that much. I really wanna keep my makeup as minimal for me as possible. I, I really wanna to try to keep my channel and do that. I just don't want excessive makeup. I just find it wasteful. And I just feel like I'm buying furniture to store stuff that I'm not gonna use. That doesn't make sense. I wanted things that were going to be decorative for me because I wanted to put something on my bathroom vanity. I wanted to have something here, which I, like I said, I have another piece coming here. I did not want, because I already have one, but I didn't want to get another one of those clear acrylic things. I just, for me, I'm a Virgo, and it just looks like clutter to me. Like I just didn't want something to look like clutter. It had to be something that's gonna be decorative and look neat for me. Because like I said, I don't want drawers. I don't, I don't have that much makeup. Behind me is actually my desk. You don't see it on camera, but I have my computer back there. That's where I edit all my videos and everything. So it's a very, it's actually a child's desk. I got a Pottery Barn, but it fits me. You know what I mean? It's big enough for me. And it has two small drawers that are really just for papers. That's it. So there's no drawers back there. This is my thought process. Like I said, I had to have, I wanted to have something decorative and I wanted something that I could bring in this room if I wanted to. 
I wanted something that if I put my makeup in, it's going to look pretty too if I see any of it. And I wanted some areas that it, that I didn't see it. So you're going to see, you're gonna, like I said, you're going to see a tour of my bathroom and my thoughts on it. Now, one thing I don't remember if I mentioned the video that I want to mention here is the piece that I have in my bathroom, you're supposed to be able to carry it. And I've seen pictures with stuff in it and they show this woman walking with it. No, girl. <laughs> it's not that sturdy. It's nice that it has a handle and if I wanted to bring it in here, I could. I don't know that I'm going to though. Um, but the handle's going to be nice at least when I'm cleaning it. But I would have to hold it by the handle and hold it underneath. Otherwise, it would probably, the handle would just crack and break. So I just wanted to tell you that. So you kind of have to use some common sense. I kind of was like going like this to see before lifting up. I'm like, no way, it's not gonna go. But that thing in my bathroom holds most of my makeup. I'm probably gonna take some of it out of there and just to put it in here so I'll have some stuff because this is what I was using before. I was using these bags in my bathroom and I had them underneath and it was just, it was just too much. So I hope that you enjoyed this little tour. So let's take a look at my makeup storage. I love this, this piece right here. Sorry, it's, I'm in my bathroom, so you're gonna hear an echo, but I can't, I, it's, this shows on the website that you can pick it up. It doesn't have a handle, but I would not recommend picking this up if you have as much stuff in it as I do, or it will break, okay? But I love the design of this. I'm gonna give you a little bit of tour here and kind of show you how I organized my makeup. And some of this I might actually put in the next organizer that I ordered, I haven't gotten it yet. But right now, this, you're looking at most of my makeup. Not my, you're not gonna see all my palettes. We're gonna see that, or maybe I'll see it already. I don't know how I'm gonna edit this. Okay, so in here, both sides lift up. So I'm gonna show you this. My kitty just walked in. So if you hear a meow, you're gonna, she's like, who are you talking to? I'm gonna spin this around, see how big this is? And then you have it on this side. So both sides open. You can't have them both open at one side. If you open one side and it's open, it's gonna slam shut. So as long as we're on this side, we'll look. So I have a lipstick tray in here. I already had it. It's an acrylic lipstick tray. So I have all my lipsticks, most of my lipsticks, not all of them, but I have a lot of my lipsticks in here. And then you, I'll, I'll tour it. I'll give you a tour on the other side, but I have like a Chanel eyeshadow. I have my Bobbi Brown primer. I have to watch where I'm showing this. My Bobbi Brown primer, my Chanel shadow that I have in here. And like I said, my lipsticks. Now what I like about this, that it opens on both sides is you don't have to, I don't have to go like this and knock everything over. It's nice that it opens on both sides. So you don't have that. So now I'm going to spin this around and now we're back on this side. So I have my Chanel powder. I have my Chanel bronzer and I have my Chanel powder here. So that's what I keep here. So you can see how deep it is. There were some that I was looking at that had like a built-in tray here and I didn't like the front with the tray because I feel like it limits, like I like that I have all this space open so I can rearrange it any way I want. With a built-in tray, you're limited to what will fit in there and then what's gonna fit back there. So I really like this design. I have my uh, Peter Thomas Roth Instant Eye Firm. This stuff is amazing. I don't use it every day, but I love it. And then I have my Chanel foundations here. I have two of them right there. I have my Chanel. I'm noticing I have a lot of Chanel now that I, <laughs> that I edited. I mean, that I, when I did this um, organization, I'm like, wow, I have a lot of Chanel. I have the Chanel highlighter here that I love my little Chanel brush that goes with my Chanel Water Fresh Foundation. So I just put it in there for now. This I don't think they make anymore, by the way, by Chanel. So I have that. This is a color corrector. I have my Sicily foundation that I'm really loving more. My Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is my MAC Fix Plus. My Chanel Water Fresh. My Anastasia my Hide and Chic, my um, YSL foundation, and this is another eyeshadow that I have from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm trying to think, I think I just recently shared that in a video. I feel like I did. Let me put this stuff back, how I hopefully had it, because I don't remember now. How did I have this? Let me get this. Like that. 
that. Yeah, I think that's how it was. Okay, so plenty of room in here. This would be great even if you had skincare. I mean, you could use this in your bathroom with skincare. You definitely have to have room because it is kind of big, but it's not too, too big for my bathroom. I mean, I actually have space down that way. I could have put it there. Um, but I just like to have it right here next to me by the sink because this is where I put my makeup on. My BK brushes that need to be washed. So I just put these in a jar. That's what I do. I know they say it's not the most sanitary way, but that's just how I do it. Now, if you don't have a lot of makeup, what you could do with a brush instead of putting them there is you could put them in the drawers because these drawers, you can fit a lot in here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to maybe get a little bit closer. This isn't exactly how I want it but when I get the other, uh, other organizer and stuff I may change it but right now what I have in here is I have my concealers in here my primer for my concealer my watercolor blushes I have my mineral color corrector a couple of um, glosses I can't fit all my lip stuff up there lip liners that I have I don't have a lot of, you guys can see, I don't have a ton of makeup. I have probably the least amount of any, probably, channel out there. Um, yeah, so that's what I have in here. Concealers, blushes, lip liners. I don't think I have eyeliners in this drawer. I don't see my eyeliners in here. No, I have my eyeliner somewhere else. I'll show you in a minute where I have those for, for now. And then in this drawer, I have this, my uh, honey palette from Naked. I have last, last, no, two years ago, Charlotte Tilbury, this is 2018 palette. My caviar eye sticks, some of them. I feel like there's, I still have a couple more. I don't know the, where they're at. I have to find them. Um, my Charlotte Tilbury from this past year, still love that. My Chanel, this is a new one that I got just before Christmas because I'm on a no-buy, but this is the new spring palette, and I just loved the colors. I have the liquid colors actually, I didn't share if they're in here, but on the top part, but I'll show that soon, probably in a tutorial or something, or get ready with me or whatever. And then I have my finishing powder here, Makeup Forever finishing powder. I feel like this looks grainy. Let's see, there we go. So my Makeup Forever, and then I have, this is my Charlotte Tilbury Golden Goddess palette. I love that one really pretty. Another eye caviar. Another eye caviar. <laughs> Maybe I do have all of them in here. And this is my um, Chanel palette that I love. You guys saw that. That was last year's cruise collection. Is it going to focus? It's a problem about filming in a bathroom. It's grainy. And if I put my lights on, everything's going to be yellow. So I don't have any lights on. That, there's a lot that fits in here. There's a lot that fits in here as you can see. See how, can you see how that's moving? Do you see that? Yeah, so if I lifted this up, there's so much makeup in here, it would break. It would break. So it's nice to be able to grip onto it and then you can slide it off your counter and lift it up from the bottom part, but you definitely would not want to carry this with a handle. You just would not want to do that. I do with my brushes now. I'm showing you this even though I don't support this brand anymore. I'm not going to get into it. Just personal. It's just personal, okay? Um, but I have these cases here for Morphe. And so I just keep like my my eye stuff. I have one brush in here which does not belong. But I just keep like my mascara and my brow pencils, my eyeliners and stuff. They just go in here. And it just makes it easy. I can carry that to my filming room and in here because I don't have a lot. I don't have a lot of makeup, so I don't have enough to keep in there and here. This is what you're gonna see behind me. So what this is, is it's a little tray. It has these little dividers. I'm gonna show you. And I took some of them out. So it's kind of nice that you can take these out or put them back in. So these are most of my eye palettes. You saw the other ones that were in that container that I have in my room of the organizer in my bathroom. So these are the rest of them. I think I have I have like two or three more that I have not organized yet. I'm going to put it probably in my other compartment. I'll show you that in a second. So this, you can see how it is. See how it's all separated? So let me just show you this. I'm going to take these off. So if I wanted to, you can individually put them in and you just snap that in there. 
See how you did, I did that? Or you can take it out and then you can fit more in here. And then there is a bottom here too, so it's not like there's nothing there. It is a little bit wonky sometimes when you're trying to um, fit, see how they kind of don't totally, they kind of are a little bit wonky, but that doesn't bother me. I just wanted to share that with you. So these are all the palettes. I just kind of went from my smallest and then kind of went to that shape and then that shape and then to bigger palettes there. But those are all the palettes that I have right now. So this is one of those acrylic pieces. I didn't want a bunch of these because I just feel like they look messy. I don't like seeing all this stuff, um, but I have one already. It's fine. I just like my other organizer because the two bottom drawers that I have in my, that I showed you in my bathroom, there are some that are clear and I don't like the clear. I like the, when you can't see everything. Um, and I kind of know what's in there. I hope that you enjoyed this little tour of my makeup collection and I hope that you enjoyed seeing how I organize my makeup. I will try to leave links below with where I found my makeup storage. I will leave it below. I really hope that this was helpful. If it was, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it as well. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you click that button below, hit the subscribe button. I share new videos every single week. Also, make sure you click that notification bell too, because anytime I share a new video, you will be notified. Thank you guys so much. I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.